Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Ivanka and today I'll be showing you guys how I did my eyebrows on this look. And if you want to see how I did the face and how I did the eyes, make sure to watch my other two videos as well. The eyes will be on next week and the highlight and contour and the foundation that I did on this look is already on my channel so make sure to go find it so you can learn how I did this overall look from scratch. To start, I took precisely my brow pencil from Benefit to mark the shape of my eyebrow. I used a brush to measure where I want my brow to start and where I want the arch to be. When I do my brows, I measure from the edge of my nose upwards to mark where my eyebrow should start. When I measure the arch, I measure from the nose to the middle of my eye as you can see in this video. You can also measure the ends as well which should end where your eye ends um, at an angle of course. I skipped a step though because I already have a good feel for where I want my brows to be and if I mark it then it would just throw me off. I like to put a little bit of translucent powder such as Laura Mercier on the brows which is what I did when I applied my makeup and this helps the eyebrow product to stay on better and it also gets rid of any shine which might end up smudging your eyebrow. I like to give my brows a little brushing to get them in place and get rid of any excess product. I am so sorry about this part of the video. I think I just really wanted to show you guys how big my forehead is. Don't worry, I <laughs> will start making better videos than this. Essentially what I did was outline my eyebrows and I do this with the pencil because it's a lot easier to fix if any mistakes are made which I usually don't do but sometimes you have a little accident so I like to outline it with a pencil before I go with my cabrow. So now what I do is I outline the line that's already there and then I shade it in and I'm using cabrow which is also from Benefit and let me tell you it is my favorite 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 eye product eyebrow product in the world like i've used so many different ones and ever since i tried this one i put away all my other ones and they're somewhere in my drawer and i have not even looked at them because this one is so good for discovering this product i always used anastasia beverly hills dip brow so I'm going to compare this product to that one. If you already have it um, and you're thinking about getting a different one, then I definitely recommend this product because I feel like it's a lot thicker, so it's easier for me to draw with it. I felt like the Anastasia was just kind of runny and um, your, your brush would sometimes split and it was just harder to get the right shape. And I feel like this one is almost the consistency of like a pencil where you can really get it precisely the way you like your brows. Um, so I think that's why I really like this product. And I also really like the color. It's more ashy than the one I had from Anastasia. I also really like the brush that the Cabral comes with. Um, not the one I'm using right now, but on the Cabral. Um, it's an angle brush and it's really thin. I don't think I've ever even seen a thin brush like that. And it just makes it a lot easier to draw on actual hair strokes, uh, which is what I like to do because I like my eyebrows to look as natural as possible. So all you have to do is Outline your brows, fill them in, blend them in using the spoolie as I was doing earlier. And what I'm doing now is just adding little hair strokes to make the brow look even more natural. So all you will need is two products and your eyebrows will look natural, beautiful, and all you have to do is do the other one and you're good to go. I was really trying to model these eyebrows for you, but my eyelashes were not letting me shine. So that's all for this video. If you do want to see the next steps of this look, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will be showing you guys how I did the rest of the face. If you want to see more of me, let me know in the comments what you want to see next.